Electronics in the classroom are undoubtedly a distraction. How can you possibly expect that 100 college students in a large lecture hall with laptops, cell phones, and tablets possibly think that your lecture is the most interesting thing? If the recent pandemic has taught us anything, it's that technology in education is here to stay. But as much as we as educators might hate the thought of our students using cell phones, tablets, or computers in class, it is inevitable that in the future, technology and education will be intertwined. That raises the question, how as we, educators better integrate and utilize the technology that we have in the classroom. That's exactly what we're gonna talk about today. It's Mitchell with AHA Slides, helping you win crowds over easier. I can remember going up to my teacher with an essay, handing it in, and then getting it back a few days later with a bunch of scribbles in red ink on the side portions of the essay, trying to decipher what the teacher meant in their feedback but we don't have to do that anymore. With modern technology, students can hand in assignments, get feedback back electronically from their teacher, and then the teacher has the option to possibly monitor whether or not those changes have been made and actually see the progress in real time. Ultimately, the process of submitting work, getting feedback, and then making alterations to that work has been sped up by technology. It makes the job easier for both teachers and students, and ultimately, it makes the whole process better. Electronics in the classroom are undoubtedly a distraction. How can you possibly expect that 100 college students in a large lecture hall with laptops, cell phones, and tablets possibly think that your lecture is the most interesting thing? Actually, there's a better way. With modern tools like what AHA Slides provides, you can make your lectures and your presentations more interactive. You can go ahead and check the understanding at scale of your audience and ask them if they picked up that detail that you dropped in your last lesson. Being able to have your students use their phone or their laptop to participate in your class is the best way to ensure that they are utilizing those electronic devices for school and not for play. After two years of online classes, the idea of delivering another class over Zoom is the last thing that I wanna do. That said, we can learn from that period of online education and try to make classes easier to attend for everyone. Simulcasting or recording your lessons for your absent students to watch later is a great way to make sure that a flat tire or a snow day doesn't get between you and your students. Of course, there's many more ways to introduce technology into the classroom, but today we wanted to pick three quick, short, easy ways that you could integrate technology that you already have into your classes and ultimately improve the experience of your students. Until next time, it's been Mitchell with AHA Slides, helping you win crowds over easier.